In all the stirring legends of the frontier West, there is none as exciting as the reckless saga of the men who pushed the last outposts of civilization across the Sierra Nevadas. The men who ride the high country. You add them all up and I'd figure I was owed about all the gold we could carry out of these mountains. Looks like you've got a pretty good claim. <laughs> oh, it's a gold mine, honey. Why don't you come on over and take a look? The lure of gold and the lust for excitement held them together. Two of a kind when danger threatened, but miles apart when tempers blazed. You always fancied yourself faster than me. Draw, you damn tin horn! Everywhere, the wildness of the country seemed to get inside the people themselves. Even hard-bitten adventurers like Randolph Scott and Joel McRae were as rash as the younger generation, represented by two of Hollywood's fastest rising young stars. When I questioned you about that boy, I should have gone a bit deeper into the subject of character. I came to Corsco School to be married, and that's what I'm going to be, married. Mariette Hartley, refreshingly different, with her red hair and freckles, recklessly pitted one suitor against another. Looks like the girl he's been going down the mountain to see. I'll say one thing, she's sure worth the trip. Looks like a warm one. Ronald Starr is the dynamic tenderfoot who'd rather fight than love. Go get him, Tiger. You're doing fine. There were few who could say who was bad and who was good, especially the two tall men who suited their actions to the era in which they lived.